Hi, I'm Bridget Young. I'm with Caterpillar's Corporate Public Affairs. Um, and what the governor is here to announce today is that uh, the Caterpillar Track Components facility here in Danville is uh, expanding as a result of bringing in some additional business from an existing facility at our Franklin, North Carolina facility. Uh, the facility here makes pins and bushing, which are components that go into our large Caterpillar machines. And as a result of this expansion, which consists primarily of uh, equipment upgrades, they'll be bringing in some additional business uh, making pins for our uh, largest track type tractors or bulldozers. Um, so this will enable us to retain existing jobs but also increase employment once the expansion is complete. Here in Boyle County, people associate Caterpillar with something even more personal. The jobs that help them feed their families and keep a roof over their heads and send their kids to school. That's why I am thrilled to be here today celebrating an upgrade of Caterpillar Track Components Danville Plant. Jobs that help them feed their families and keep a roof over their heads and send their kids to school. That's why I am thrilled to be here today celebrating an upgrade of Caterpillar Track Components Danville Plant, which as you know makes parts for tractors, hydraulic excavators, and wheel loaders. When a business finances equipment updates, it's investing not only in its own future, it's investing also in the future of its employees and the community. And the importance of that reinvestment can't be overestimated. I want to recognize the local officials who are here with us today, who have worked hard on behalf of the folks of Ball County, both on this project and a lot of other projects. Ball County Judge Executive, Harold McKinney, Mayor Hugh Coover. Let's give both of them a round of applause. And a fellow that we work with constantly, Jody Lassiter, the President and CEO of the Danville Ball County Economic Development Partnership. Jody, thank you for being here. Folks, these kinds of things don't just happen. They happen because people come together, they work together, they cooperate, they work with us at the state level to pull these kinds of things together. On behalf of the Boyle County Fiscal Court and all the people of Boyle County, I am thrilled today to be here at this expansion of the Caterpillar plant. Governor, I appreciate your hard work in uh, preserving jobs in Boyle County and increasing jobs, and I, I thank you on behalf of all the folks in Boyle County. Angela LeBeer and all the Caterpillar family that's here, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being fine corporate citizens in our fine community. We look forward to working with you for a very, very long time for the good of both of us. Thank you. I want to say welcome on behalf of the city of Danville. I want to thank the governor and the cabinet everything they've done to make this possible. I want to congratulate Caterpillar on the good job they're doing and thank them for being such good corporate citizens. I'd like to say a word about Angie over here. Angie is, a, is the epitome of a corporate citizen. I know from some work with her on these two areas, she's helped with the technical college, she's going to facilitate her on some of the uh, development partnership uh, workshops, and uh, Angie is really an asset to the animal. Caterpillar is. And again, thank you, Governor. Governor, thank you for celebrating our big day here in Danville, and particularly the Caterpillar corporate team. Bozeman, thank you for being here. There's no greater testament to a community, its local management, and its workforce than when a company decides to reinvest in that management and workforce and product. And so we thank Caterpillar for reinvesting in Danville, Boyle County. And it takes leadership to continue that effort to go forward. Uh, Governor, thank you for your leadership of giving us the tool of the Kentucky Reinvestment Act such that we do have tools to offer to our existing businesses to grow and thrive. And I would not be successful, Governor, were it not for your great staff and my friends at the Kentucky Cabinet for Economic Development, like Eric and Marlene and Secretary Hayes. Uh, I would not
not be successful and Caterpillar would not have the resources that it has in this community without the leadership of our fiscal court, without the leadership of our city commission, uh, and without the Economic Development Partnership Board and our partner executives and team who are here today, Representative Harmon who supports us, and Senator Buford uh, in our efforts every day. And I'm glad to say that Angela Lemire is the newest member of our Economic Development Partnership team uh, and is already taking leadership in this community. And specifically, I want to thank the EDB board and the board of the Boyle County Industrial Foundation who does the real heavy lifting for industrial development specifically, and my chairman, John Albright, who is here, uh, chairman of both the Industrial Foundation and the EDP boards. Uh, I can't say enough about these employees and the great group of people that I get to work with every day, like Keith Henry and Austin and so many others that are a part of this team. But I do not want to leave out the folks that are in the trenches that are hiding back over here that are our industrial council members and our plant managers that very much support me on a daily basis and have a great interconnected relationship with Angie and other plant managers. And I think that a community that has engaged plant managers that are sharing information with one another to help each other succeed, those are communities that will grow in the future. And without the state's reinvestment and Caterpillar's work, for 2009, Governor, Site Selection Magazine would not have selected Danville to be the number 12 micropolitan in the country among all the 690 micropolitans in our nation, as well as the top micropolitan in the state of Kentucky. So thank you very much and congratulations to you. to have this expansion here in Boyle County. It, it, it indicates a lot of things. One, it means that Caterpillar is committed to the county, which is a good thing long term. They're going to add 15 jobs, which is good for people who obviously who need those jobs. It's good for our tax base. We're, we're, and we, we feel like we are committed to Caterpillar, and the state's committed to Caterpillar for uh, with the incentives that are being paid. But, but we are uh, we think the long-term effect for Boyle County be very, very positive with the multiplier effect of the jobs. It obviously is going to be a, a, a very good, uh, very good thing for Boyle County today.